Charles and welcome back to my YouTube channel. First off, before I begin this video, I just wanted to say thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and for all of your kind words and support. I greatly appreciate it and I'm super glad that my videos have helped you. As some of you may know, I have three dogs, Molly, Maggie, and Fluffy. Molly and Maggie are 11 and Fluffy is 13. Maggie and Fluffy unfortunately have congestive heart failure, also known as CHF. For those of you who do not know what congestive heart failure is, it's basically when the dog's heart is not able to pump enough oxygen to the body. And when there's not enough blood and oxygen going throughout the body being pumped by the heart, then sometimes a dog can have a syncope, which is basically when they faint or pass out. And they go into a, a shock slash seizure state, but it's not a seizure because it's the result of congestive heart failure. Fluffy and Maggie unfortunately have syncopes all the time and at random times. Like just the other day, Maggie was eating and then all of a sudden she went behind a chair and then she had a syncope. It can happen when you least expect it. So for today's video, I thought I would share with you what I do whenever this happens to Fluffy and Maggie. As I mentioned before, syncopes happen at random times, but sometimes you can just tell when it's going to happen and when something's going to change. Like the example that I gave when Maggie had her syncope, that was at a random time, but she did have a walk before that. We had her in a stroller, of course, but um, we took her out of the stroller to sniff around. I guess we let her out too long by accident or something, or we just didn't think it would affect her as much. She was having a good day, so we thought we'll give her a few more extra minutes outside. Things just didn't work out at the end and she had a syncope as a result of that. So basically what I'm trying to say is make sure your dog's physical activity is limited and keep a close eye on your dog as much as you can. Like I said, sometimes they happen at random times, but for Fluffy, I can kind of tell when they're happening or right before they happen and prepare as much as I can. Here are a few ways that I know a syncope is about to happen. Number one, she loses her balance. One time when Fluffy had a syncope, we were outside walking around. We weren't walking, walking, but we let them out to sniff everywhere. And all of a sudden she's, she starts wobbling and losing her balance and stumbling. That's when I knew something was up. The second thing that I noticed about her was her pacing. So her walking and her breathing were increasing in pace. Her normal outside breathing and walking looked like this. <laughs> And then her pre-syncope walking and breathing look like this. <laughs> the third thing that she did right before the syncope actually happened was her walking everywhere. So not to a destination, like not to this pole, not to this bush, but it was like she didn't know where to go. Breathing heavily, her sniffing really quickly, her walking really quickly. But while she's walking, she's unbalanced and she's not sure where to go, so she's walking everywhere. Imagine that. While all that is happening at the same time, I picked her up and as soon as I picked her up, like a second later, she went into her, her syncope state. When Maggie and Molly do go into the syncope state, their head goes back uncontrollably because it's, like I said, it's kind of like a seizure, but they're not having a seizure. It's just what they do when they have a syncope. And um, in order to support their head and their body, imagine their head right here where my hand is and then my arm is right here or my hand holds their head up so they're not like they're not like this all the time and it doesn't strain their neck as much if you're unable to pick them up right before the syncope happens your dog may um just go into it without any warning whatsoever and when that happens they will get on the floor and um it'll seem like they passed out but it's like they're having a seizure on the floor. I'm not really sure how to explain it better, um, but Maggie has done that a few times. She's just on the floor and she's she squeals when that happens. She cries. Buffy, I remember one time, her syncope was really bad. It was really scary. Um, and I felt so bad because I couldn't really do anything to help her with that, except hold her, of course. Um, but when her syncope did happen, her head threw back and she kept screaming like, really loudly and it was she screamed not exaggerating five or six times um it was just scream after scream and it wasn't even a yelp it was just like it was really bad it was high pitched and it was really scary <laughs> usually fluffy and maggie's syncopes only last mm, let's say a few minutes but of course it feels like longer it's probably only 
um, less than four minutes. I don't think they've extended three, but it just depends on how bad it is and the situation. I would also like to add that while the syncope is happening, your dog may poop and pee in your hand or on the floor, however you're holding them. And please do not get mad at them. They can't help it. When the syncope happens, they have no control over their body or their muscles or their bladders and everything just lets go. And they also shake like crazy. It's as if they were having a seizure, but it's not. I know this is a lot of information and in a long video. I'm sorry for the length, but I appreciate if you've stayed this long and I hope my tips and advice will help you with your dog if they ever go into a syncope. Hopefully they won't, but if that happens and helps you become less nervous and more prepared if a syncope were to happen. Look who woke up from their nap. Did you have a good nap, huh? I love you. It's our baby. Say hi, Fluffy. Say hi. <laughs> I love you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please hit that subscribe button for more videos. Comment below. Let me know what kind of videos you would like to see. Follow me on Instagram. And feel free to share my videos. Thank you for your support, for subscribing. And we will see you all next time. Until then, that's a wrap.